Initializing Kumar's Gaming Loading Atari 2600 Please have patience Initializing the game Hold on please Welcome to Kimmer's Gaming. Before we begin let me ask you one thing, when you were a child, what you wanted to be when you grow up? To tell you the truth, we all have dreamt of becoming something more interesting than what our seemingly dull parents did. So what was it? An astronaut soaring into space? Or maybe a cowboy living in the wild west, with nothing but a horse, a gun and your wits to ensure the survival? The prospect of getting on top of the saddle and riding high into the sunset seems so dreamy, the kind of stuff that both adults and children could appreciate. However, this naive vision of cowboys leaves out the tougher aspects of this occupation. Thankfully the retro gaming industry presented us with a game that not only portrays the tough lifestyle of the Wild West but also gives us the reminder of why we love it so much. The game we are going to talk about is one of the most underrated games of Atari 2600 called Stampede. So what is the story of the game that we are talking about? Well, imagine it is a blazing hot day out in the farm. We have been enjoying the good life of the West, having ever-growing population of cattle which subsequently rakes enough money to make us wealthy. As our cowboy climbs over the nearest ridge, he feasts his eyes upon the huge herd of cattle that we have acquired during the rise of our success. But as soon as he stands back and admires the collection, he realizes that something is wrong. Some unknown entity has driven the herd into a chaos. Our prized possessions are sent to and fro around the field. If our cowboy doesn't do anything fast enough, the cattle will jump the fence and escape, leaving us with nothing but a big patch of land and a failed business. Having no money or time to lose, this cowboy mounts on his trusty steed and heads out into the thick of Stampede. Stampede game never initiated big commotions like River Raid and Pitfall, but everyone who played it loved it just as much. Video game Stampede was written by Bob Whitehead for Atari 2600 gaming console and was published by Activision in 1981. An Intellivision 1 was also subsequently released in 1982. To briefly describe it, one will call Stampede a game with left to right, overhead view side scroller with a cattle roundup theme. As most of the Activision titles of the day Stampede had smooth animations, clean graphics and responsive controls which overall contributes to a madly addictive gameplay. Sound effects are also above average, particularly the muted throbbing of the pounding hooves. Gamers will find themselves hitting the reset button over and over again for that just one more time, a sign of any good Atari 2600 game. Two lines of the fence in top and bottom of the screen defines the playing area. The score is given in the topmost right and a stray count is given in top left of the screen. The objective of this game is to round up all the cattle which the cowboy encounters. In order to do this, the gamer must lasso each one. The gamer at first is allowed to let two cattle pass, if the third one slips, the game is over. The stray count in the top left of the screen which I mentioned before gives this information. Small bovines in various colors are herded throughout the playing field by our mounted cowboy. The cowboy is responsible for herding the cattle into manageable groups and then roping them one at a time. Jerseys, Gumsies, and Herefords runs ahead of the galloping cowboy. Each of these groups has its own pace. The cowboy must lasso each as many as possible before the stray count goes to three. Gumsies, Herefords and Jerseys are all worth a certain amount of points. Black Angus carries the bonus bets. So as we make our way down the field, we eventually catch up with our livestock. 
With a careful maneuver through the thick of hooves and beefs we will be able to single out on one of those wild bovines as it tries to slip away. As the hooves pounds dirt and dust flies in our cowboy's face, we have to keep focus as the beasts continue their escape. Once we manage to get our target in range, our cowboy will unravel his mighty rope lasso and will fling it towards the beast. If we manage to get the rope around the bovine's fat neck, we will be able to drag it back to submission. Fortunately, it will go quickly and quietly eliminating extra effort that we might need to endure. However, we cannot take time to pat ourselves on our back. With countless cattle still making a bid for freedom and charging towards the fences, we have to maintain the chase and hopefully get them wrangled to safety. Hence, the chaos continues with no end in sight. But be reminded that it is not the simple task of nabbing cows as we chase them. While these bovines may be the part of the same herd, they vary in speed, color and awarded points for each successful capture. A lot of initial cattle will be slow and an easy target, giving gamers plenty of time to get themselves in position and let their lasso fly. However, many will start to change speed forcing our cowboy to reposition himself and constantly analyze the playing field. Some will outrun our horse for a quite a bit of time, while others will be trampled underfoot in few seconds. Our cowboy will have to make quick intuitive decisions over which cattle to nab first, risking the chance of missing one of the mammals. Stampede will make the cowboy continuously juggle his timing and maneuvering as he makes his progress down the field. Complicating matters more, there are also cow skulls present, which trips the cowboy up. And not to mention, stationary black cows, of which the cowboy needs to keep an eye out for. Unless attention is paid for the replicative patterns of the herd movements and the placement of obstacles on the course, the player will waste a lot of effort with very little result. Learning the techniques of herding the runaways is the smartest thing a new gamer could do. Also Black Angus never do run away from the rider, in patter of rest of the cattle, but crop up occasionally at random. In a scenario when the cowboy was unable to snag each one before it passes, he could still nudge them ahead and gain extra time. It is a pretty ingenious concept. If the cowboy happens to pass one of his targets without capture, it will count against it. Once the cowboy misses three, it will end the game. An important caveat to mention here is that the gamer gets one extra free cattle pass for every 1000 points scored. So if a gamer has scored 2000 points without letting any cattle pass, he or she would have four cattle pass. As in, the fifth one will end the game assuming the gamer has not crossed 3000 by then. This makes it possible for a pro gamer to beat the game continuously as after 5000 points the game essentially resets, and the same pattern is repeated. As David Yancey mentioned that there is a bug that makes it so that the game will allow the player to play in a loop for 8 playthroughs, however, apparently, a version of the game does exist with a different binary which allows the player to continue to accrue points until the score of 99999 is reached. So, how was its reception back in the day? video magazine favorably reviewed Stampede in 1982, where it described it as thrilling representation of rope riding and boasted charming visuals. The reviewers also noted that although Stampede only utilized 2 kilobytes of ROM, it demonstrated Activision's success in marketing in new and unusual games. This proved at the time that expanding memory isn't the only way to create solid playable games. Stampede was also reviewed by Richard Edwards in The Space Gamers. He commented that this is one of the best combined strategy and action games for the Atari system. Go rope yourself a copy, partners. Video Games in 1983 also mentioned that the Intellivision version of Stampede was easier than the difficult Atari 2600 original with identical graphics. Danny Goodman of Creative Computing Video and Arcade Games was astonished that in television versions graphics were slightly more detailed than their Atari ancestors. Well, that is all I had to say about Stampede, have a nice day.
reimagines the way teams collaborate so your business has the tools it needs to create its best work together faster. Here's one example. Sammy forgot her pixel book on her kitchen counter this morning. But luckily for her, she's able to grab a loaner Chromebook and log in instantly with her two-factor authentication security key. Organizations like Sammy's that use these keys have reported zero account hijackings. Hangouts Chat makes it easy for Sammy to collaborate with her team. Two days? That's crazy! Sammy's team can share docs, sheets, and slide presentations right in the chat room, and the correct permissions are added automatically. In Slides, it's simple for Sammy's team to collaborate in real time, and they know exactly what next steps are because comments and action items can be assigned to specific owners. Hmm, Julie needs Sammy to look up some information. With Cloud Search, Sammy can use the same technology that powers Google Search to quickly find the data and documents she needs across G Suite and the tools her company uses most, like Salesforce. Sammy's team can work together in Sheets in real time, making sure the data is always up to date. No one gets a workbook is locked warning. And just like Docs or Slides, Sheets lets you make comments to other collaborators or create trackable action items. With Explore and Sheets, Sammy can find insights in her data by asking questions in plain English, like, what is the average revenue per region? She chooses natural language processing to understand Sammy's request and give her the answer she needs instantly. Ah, there's the number Julie was asking about. Some topics are best discussed face-to-face, -face, but setting up meetings takes time Sammy just doesn't have under her tight deadline. In Google Calendar, smart suggestions take the headache out of scheduling. Calendar suggests meeting times that work for everyone. It even recognizes time zones and work blocks, like how Rosa is in Madrid and Nick is in New York. And when it's time to meet, Sammy joins Hangouts Meet right from Calendar. Her teammates can also join from a phone or outside domains. Plus, it's easy to present materials like documents or even a Jamboard session. While presenting, Sammy can continue working in real time. Sammy can even type a phrase like Julie to follow up on this, and Google will leverage the power of natural language processing to create an action item. It even knows which Julie to assign it to. And when Sammy needs to send an email, Gmail's Smart Compose can offer suggestions as she types, saving valuable time. G Suite takes security seriously. To manage sensitive email communications, Sammy uses confidential mode in Gmail. This lets her put restrictions on messages, so they can't be forwarded, copied, downloaded, or printed. Okay, Sammy sent the email. And naturally, she goes back to chat, where this all started. Finding a time that works for everyone isn't easy. But with the Meetbot, Sammy can enter a simple command with the names of the attendees, and Meet will figure out who they are and when they're available. Whether it's an urgent exec request or an everyday project, G Suite can help reimagine work for enterprise companies like yours.